Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Pre-built versus custom build. Which should you choose and what is right for you? You should watch this video if you're trying to figure out do I buy a complete ready to run computer out of the box or do I custom build my own machine? This video will focus on $750 gaming computers. I will do other videos comparing less expensive and more expensive pre-built versus custom but this is all about a $750 gaming computer. I have previously compared on my channel the CyberPower PC. I've done reviews on this, $720 on Amazon. I have done over 40 videos on this computer. It is an amazing deal. Link in the description below to the full playlist of videos on this computer. If you've been following me for a while, you know all about it. But we're gonna talk about this and a very similar model they just made available on Amazon, as well as two different custom builds, one from Amazon and one from Newegg. First, this is all about the money aspect of building versus buying pre-built. There is an, a subjective aspect related to appearance and personal preferences. I will talk about that later in the video. But for the moment, we're simply talking about value for the money. This is all about how much performance, how much capability do I get for my money. Appearance and, and, and personal preference are subjective, but I will address that later in the video. Now, first of all, this is the computer I've previously reviewed, the CyberPower Gaming PC. It has an Intel i5-6402P processor. What is that? Sixth generation Skylake chip. It is a little faster than a 6400, in case you're curious. It's 100 megahertz faster. It's a true quad-core chip. Very, very nice. This machine has eight gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte hard drive, but most importantly, AMD's RX 480 dedicated gaming graphics card. I've done 38 game videos on this computer. Different, I've tested 38 different games. This thing plays everything at 1080p perfectly, and it plays some games at 1440p and 4K really, really well. This is a great value for the money. But what about building it yourself? Now, as a side note, in the various comments beneath the original review of this computer and in the game videos, some people correctly recognized that this was a killer deal that you simply could not touch or build yourself. I said it in the original video. I said this is unbeatable. You can't build this machine for this money. I was correct then. I'm correct now. But multiple people have commented, oh man, you can get that performance less for, for less money. You can build that for less money. And then they proceed to, to put a list of computer parts that do in fact cost less money. Except they're not the same parts. Well, sure, if you substitute lesser parts, yeah, you can get the price lower. My original statement was you can't build this computer for less money. That's true, and I'm gonna show you. Now, we come back over to the page and I've got Amazon Custom Build for $774. What is that? Well, let me show you. I've got 10 items added to my Amazon shopping cart. If you look over here on the right side, I've highlighted it, 747. Wait a minute, that's not the same number. That's correct. Windows 10 isn't on here. I'm allowing for the fact that you can get a legal copy of Windows 10 Home from Kingwin for $27. Yes, I have bought keys here. In fact, my $4,000 Ultimate build is using a Windows 10 key purchased from Kingwin, and yes, it activated perfectly without any trouble online with Microsoft, so yes. Go there to buy your Windows 10 key, save a lot of money. What parts do I have in my shopping cart? This is as close as I can reasonably get it to the CyberPower PC. The CyberPower comes with a 600 watt power supply. I've got a very nice EVGA 600 watt power supply for $50. The CyberPower PC comes with a gaming keyboard and a gaming mouse. Here's a gaming keyboard and gaming mouse for $25. RX 480 4GB card. This is the least expensive RX 480 on the market at $230. Wi-Fi. The CyberPower comes with AC Wi-Fi. Here's AC Wi-Fi. It comes with a DVD burner. Here's a DVD burner. Very cheap at only $14. One terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. There it is. Masterbox 5. This is actually the exact case that the CyberPower comes in. Not close. Exact. It comes in a Cooler Master Master Box 5. This is an excellent case. For, for $70, it's a great deal. Now, you can spend less on cases, but then you don't have the same machine. You don't have the same expansion options. You can install water coolers in here, multiple fans, multiple hard drives, multiple SSDs, uh, new video cards. It's got options. Great case. 
Now the CPU is not the same. It's actually less. Why? Because the i5-6402P is an OEM processor. It's not meant to be sold to the retail public. This chip is 100 megahertz slower than what's in the CyberPower, but that's 3% difference. You'll never notice it. It doesn't really matter. $180 for the i5-6400. We've got a $70 gigabyte B150 board. The CyberPower came with an MSI B150 board, basically the same thing. And then eight gigabytes of dual channel RAM, which is exactly what was in the CyberPower PC. And we come to 747, add the copy of Windows for 27, and that is where we get our $774. Note, this is $54 more than the pre-built on a purely dollar for dollar basis. If you like that CyberPower pre-built that I reviewed, why would you build your own? $54 less and it comes to you in a box, plug it in the wall, push the power button, you're rocking and rolling. Here's the other benefit to buying a pre-built. What if it doesn't work? What if you have a problem? In the first 30 days, it's not your problem. Contact Amazon, get it replaced. Amazon will ship you a replacement. They will give you a prepaid return envelope. You will send the old one back. They will cross ship you a brand new one. No worries, you got a brand new one, it's not your problem. Why is it not working? Who cares, not your problem. After 30 days, one year warranty. Let's say your computer's having a problem, whatever the problem is. If you build your own, is it the RAM? Is it the video card? Is it your motherboard? How, how do you know? You have to go to gigabyte for the motherboard and crucial for the RAM and you know, you have to figure out what the problem is. With a pre-built, Hey, cyber power. Yeah, my computer's not working. What's wrong with it? I don't know. That's your problem. I got a year of, te you know, I got a year warranty and limited lifetime tech support. You fix it. So let it be their problem. That's the benefit. Now, if you could build that machine for, for $100 less, there would be a money argument. This is money. Again, we will discuss subjectivity later. Now, if you notice, you'll see I have Newegg custom built here for 787. The only reason I did this was to simply demonstrate that it is not somehow magically cheaper on Newegg. I won't go through it line by line. These are all the same basic parts. It's just slightly more expensive, but you know what? Give it a week and the prices will reverse. Both Amazon and Newegg change their prices all the time. And so if we come all the way down here to the bottom of the cart, there's the Wi-Fi adapter. We have $759, add the $27 for Windows, $787. So from a money point of view, you cannot touch what CyberPower has put together. Unless you want it to look different, unless you have specific preferences, and then we get into subjectivity. One quick note before we discuss that, you'll notice I have a $750 option. This did not exist when I bought the top machine, the 720 on Amazon. If it had, I might have bought it. Let me come over here and show you. This is the $720 machine. They've now got a new machine. It actually isn't released yet, but it's coming soon for $30 more. Should you buy it? Maybe. Two changes. Number one, NVIDIA's GeForce GTX 1060 three gigabyte card instead of AMD's RX 480 four gig card. This card is slightly slower than the RX 480. Will you notice it? Probably not. I wish it had four gigs. It's got three. That might be a limitation in the future. It's really close, but you know what? It's compensated. It's more money. You say, wait, but it's more money. Yeah, look at this. 128 gigabyte SSD, and it's not just any, it's 128 gig PCI Express NVMe SSD. That's a fast one. No need to install an SSD and do a clone of Windows. This thing is ready to rock out of the box. If you watch my original videos and you look at the Windows performance review on the hard drive compared to the SSD, what a difference. This comes with an SSD and it's worth it and it's really tempting. So buy that one if you want to, it's fine. Okay, enough of that. Let's say you want to build your own because you want it to look different. I can't argue with that. Let me change these numbers. Now we've just gone through this. Let me show you how we're now going to make the computer cheaper than the pre-built and customized. Now you might say, wait a minute, you just said the pre-built couldn't be beat. It can't if you want to build the same machine. But what if you want to build your own personalized machine? Let me show you. Let's go over to Amazon. I am going to delete the case. 
I am going to delete the motherboard and I'm going to delete the Wi-Fi adapter and I'm going to de delete the DVD burner. Because we are going to assume you don't care about Wi-Fi, you don't care about the DVD burner, and we are going to pick a different motherboard. The first thing we're going to do is put an H110 board in. Why? Well, I actually think the B150 board is worth the $20, but maybe you don't. So we're going to put a Gigabyte H110 board in. After all, we're going to save some money. Now we're going to put in a different case. This is an excellent case. I have one of these. I have built a computer in this. Um, this is my kid's gaming computer. Home is built in this case. Excellent case. It's less expensive. It's $49. So we are going to put this into the system. Let me hit add to cart. There we go. Come on, Amazon. Now, let's go take a look at our cart. We have our case, our motherboard, our power supply. Now you could even take the keyboard out if you already have one. We've got our video card, hard drive. CPU and RAM and take a look at our price. Now you still have to add Windows 10 to that. Fair enough. $27 added to that is not going to be very expensive. You're roughly at about $700. Okay, we are now less than the $720. Not by much. You still have to build it, but you got to customize it. What did we do? We put it into a different case. If you think the Master Box 5 from, from uh, Cooler Master is an ugly case, fair enough. I've, appearances are completely subjective. I Everybody has their personal preference. If you like the look of that or some other case, by all means. In fact, if you want cheap, I will show you cheap. $25. I've built a computer in this case. I actually have one of these cases. It's a cheap, thin case. The metal on this is the thinnest possible metal you can possibly imagine. The inside, look how basic that is. Very, now it does come with two fans, which is nice. It does come with an intake and exhaust, but these are little teeny 90 millimeter fans. Power supply goes up top. It works, however. You could install those components in this case and it would in fact work. And it's $25. Here's where you can start saving some money. If you wanna save money, you can absolutely do this. But again, it's not the same computer. This case versus that case are not comparisons. Seriously, they really aren't comparisons. I mean, you're, you're apples and oranges, but you can get the cost less that way. All I will say is that if you like that machine, you cannot replicate it for the money, either that one or that one. These are incredible deals. All I can say is what I typed down here. The pre-built co computers cost less. They come ready to run out of the box. They have a warranty from one company. Basically, any problem stops being your problem and starts being somebody else's. There's value there. Let me add one further point to this entire video. I've reviewed many desktops on my channel. Asus M32AD, Asus M32CD, Lenovo H50, Acer uh, G3710 Predator, Lenovo Idea Center 700 Gaming PC. They're all sold. I reviewed and then sold all of them. I'm keeping this cyber power. It is untouchable. The Masterbox 5 case is very, very nice. I'm actually impressed. It makes me want to try another Cooler Master case. It's a very nice case. The parts, the MSI motherboard, the performance, the, the for the price, I can build my own machines. I've built many of my own machines. Why bother at $720? Holy smokes. For, for a mid-level gaming machine that plays everything at 1080p and some games at 1440 or even 4K, that's the deal. Whenever somebody says, hey, can you put together a custom machine for me for seven to $800? I'd say, sure, but why bother? Go buy this. This is the deal. And there's a reason why it is the number one bestseller in tower computers on Amazon. And take a look at 250 customer reviews. 87% are five stars, 10% are four stars. It's 4.9 out of five stars. What more do you want?
In fact, a customer has put an image right here on this review of how spacious that case really is. Two large intake fans right here, two large exhaust fans, room for a liquid cooler on the top. If you ever wanted to upgrade to a K CPU and maybe a Z motherboard and overclock maybe two or three years from now, no need to change the case. I love it. All right, enough talking. You guys get the point. All I can say is that if you're under the $1,000 price point, if you're at $750 and you are happy with the aesthetics, go buy the CyberPower. It's a deal. It runs out of the box. I've been using that machine for a month. I've played 38 different games on it. I've upgraded it with an SSD and an extra 8 gigs of RAM. It has never crashed once. I have never had that machine lock up on me. I have never had a problem with it. I can't say that about every machine I've tested. That machine, knock on wood, has been flawless. So did you like this video? Click like, did you not? Don't remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge button right down below the video. Leave your comments and questions below the video. And as always, check out my links. Everything I have shown in this video will be linked in the video description below to both Amazon and Newegg. By all means, go click one of them and go check them out. They're both awesome companies. I buy lots of stuff from both places. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video.